Dr. Delgado has become a great friend of mine and is an incredible human being. He is one of the world's renowned pediatric neurologists. And I mean, uh, you were, you won't tell these people this, so I will. You're president of, of the CERB. American Academy. Yeah. <laughs> American Academy for Cerebral Pulse and Developmental Medicine. Yes. The, the whole organization. <laughs> and he just retired from. Um, from daily practicing and teaching this year, but uh, we have a presentation. Rick's going to help. This is for the Jasubi Scholarship Fund, um, and we want to give you $2,500 today. This one you can put in the bank. That won't go in the bank. But, uh, uh, Mauricio is going to talk and share with us what Jasubi, if you don't know what it is all about. Thank you, Bob. Thank you, Rick. Yep. And uh, thank you all for your support. Um, the scholarship fund uh, called Jasubi, it's uh, uh, a fund that is established at the Catholic Foundation here in Dallas. I know that many of you probably don't know what we do, but this is all about assisting underserved and vulnerable children so they can attend a Christ-centered, academically rigorous learning environment, in other words, Catholic schools. And I know about Catholic education because uh, for 12 years of my childhood and adolescence, I had the benefit of attending a Catholic school. My dad worked very hard for this to happen. He was never able to come to my soccer games or school functions because <clears throat> he was always working. He worked very hard so he could help me and my other seven siblings have the opportunity to attend a Catholic school. We had an old car, a Volkswagen Beetle. I don't know if you remember those. <laughs> I still cannot believe how the whole family could fit <laughs> in that old car. <clears throat> of course, no, no car, no, no, no child seats or <clears throat> no seat belts. <laughs> We used to live in a rented house and had enough food at the table. We certainly did not have any luxuries, but we had a Catholic education. Because my mom and dad strongly believed that that was the best gift they could give to their children. So wherever mom and dad are, thank you for that tremendous sacrifice. wife, Maria, she also went to Catholic schools her whole life. She lost her dad when she was 10 years old, so her mom had to work and work very hard to support her six children so they could go to Catholic schools. And thanks to that and scholarships, she was able to attend an all-girls Catholic school her whole life. Maria and I believe that the rich academic and spiritual experiences we live in our Catholic schools mark our lives and faith forever. So how did we start this Jetsui Fund? Well, I don't remember if it was at the end of 2008 or beginning of 2009, in the middle of the Great Recession, when I got a call from Father Eduardo Gonzalez here in Dallas letting me know that one of his best friends has, had lost his job and no longer could afford his son's Catholic school tuition. Father Gonzalez asked me if I could help him. Of course, I said, let me see what I can do. So I immediately called the school principal to make an appointment, Ms. Newman, who was the St. Hiles X school principal 
She thanked me for my willingness to help that particular child. And during our conversation, she opened my eyes to a reality that I kind of knew about, but I really didn't want to confront. And that was the fact that there were many more children like the one I was about to help that needed to get some assistance so they could stay in Catholic schools. So I went there to help one and came out challenged to help hundreds, maybe thousands of other children that needed help. But why Catholic schools? Well, according to a study done by Notre Dame University, Latinos who attend Catholic schools are 42% more likely to graduate high school and two and a half times more likely to graduate college than their peers in public schools. But more importantly, they are a step closer to heaven. Unfortunately, only 3% of Hispanic families can afford sending their children to Catholic schools. A few months before all this happened, I lost one of my patients in a car accident. His name was Jetsuli Castillo. He was only 11 years old when he died. Jetsuli was a very special kid. He was a Hispanic boy who lived in Houston. He had a very nice smile, very friendly, very bright. One of those kids that you fall in love immediately when you see them, they have these sparkling eyes and he had a big heart. One day Tetsubi shared with me that his dream was to earn enough money when he grew up so he could retire his parents who worked so hard. I think they had two or three jobs to support the family and certainly could not afford to send him to any private school. Like many Hispanics who come to this country they worked very hard and made little money. But now Jetsubi was gone, and I was wondering what was the purpose of his short life. I really didn't know. But he certainly reminded me that I did not have enough time to help others like Jetsubi, who were bright and had great, great dreams, and they were willing to have an opportunity to shine. So, Inspired by Yetsubi and becoming aware of the tremendous need in our community, my wife and I decided to start the Yetsubi Scholarship Fund at the Catholic Foundation. So others could have the same opportunity that one day we had. We did not know how we would do it, just that we needed to do it. Because when the Holy Spirit calls you, you don't ask any questions. You don't try to understand. You just act. So here we are 13 years later. And thanks to the people like you, we've been able to help almost 200 children at 10 Catholic schools. And for that, we're very grateful. But there are many others out there Every year we get more and more requests for scholarship help that we, that we can provide. So we need help, and we cannot do it alone. The time is now. We cannot wait for someone else to do it. We need to do it now. So what is the reason I'm talking to you today? Well, first to thank you, but also to invite you to invest in the future of our community the future of our country, because as we all invest in these children, we build hope for a better tomorrow. This is an opportunity to positively influence the future, because our future will depend on what we do today. So thank you for being willing to take this opportunity and build a better future together, a future built by building better people. Thank you for building together. A better tomorrow today. God bless you.
what a great place to put your money to, to help with the Catholic education for Jetsubi.